More happy fun times in Linux with our favorite terminal tips, this time on Hack 5. Hello and welcome to Hack 5. My name is Darren Kitchen. Hello everybody, my name is Shannon Morse. It's your weekly dose of Technolust, and I am so excited. Why? Because, as you know, last week yes. on Hack 5, yes. we looked at some of our favorite bash tips. That we did. And today, we are going to follow up on some of our more fun special terminal happiness. <laughs> Starting with something near and dear to my heart. Check this out. This is so exciting. Okay. I am going to show you ways that we can build on what we've done before using an amazing website called Virtual Hacker. Oh. Which has nothing to wait. do with Hacker Typer, but okay. by the way, that's amazing I was too. Ask that. <laughs> which is actually host to a paste bin. You ever used any of those uh, paste bin pro yeah. uh, programs? I programs, have websites? actually. Yeah. Like what's your favorite paste bin? Paste bin. Paste There's a million of them. Anyway, so the, the, this is really fun. This one, you don't access over the web. You access it over Netcat, which is cool because oh. it's got you know cats, and it's on port 9999. And yeah. what's really neat about this is that anything you send to virtualhacker.net on port 9999 will be saved, and you'll get a URL back, a very short URL, in fact, that you can use to share with your friends on social media. Like So that's where I can type all my passwords to share them with my husband. Y yes, Shannon, you can. No. It's all in plain text, no. so it's so much fun. Mm -mm, don't uh, do that. I'll give you an example here. Uh, so if I wanted to, I could just echo, snurbs is snubs. Derpy alter ego, as everybody knows. Of and course. if I pipe that to netcat to virtualhacker.net on port 9999, -na -na -na. check that out. This is what it gives me back. And I can now use this to share it with Twitter or the whole interwebs about how your, your derpy alter ego works, which, which is pretty fantastic, if you ask me. I think it's pretty good. I think we should make what? You don't tell them about the snurbs. I think Shannon, everybody knows about the snurbs. Nobody was supposed to know about the snurbs. <laughs> How could they not know? They tune in every week. Who do you think they're anyway? Um, so <laughs> it is fantastic that uh, we can get this. But I feel like let's make this example even better. Okay. And we can do that if we follow up on like what Miss um, Swan did last week oh, hello. with the fortune. Uh, we can take, for instance, fortune. <laughs> Kause. Actually, I'll just do this to recap. Fortune Kause. Ha ha! You get a fortune and cow. ASCII cows speak it, which is fantastic. Um, well, <laughs> if we wanted to, we could take that same thing and pipe it to netcat virtualhacker.net 9999. Okay. Oh. Boom. And cool. now I have a URL. I can select that URL. I can copy it. I can even open that link and it'll pop up Chrome. And there we go. Aww. You are always busy. Wow, you know me so well, yep. Mr. ASCII cow. <laughs> this is fantastic. So I have a URL I can paste everywhere. It's, it's, it's happy good times. Um, and this is awesome because, you know, I can send this wonderfully insightful fortune over to Shannon. Except the only unfortunate part is I can't, in fact, see what the link is. As you right. saw, it gives me just the link, but it doesn't show me the fortune. Can you fix that? I can, which, uh, well, the easiest way, or not easiest way, but the silly, stupid way would be to just download it again. And I can actually do that with curl tack L so that it'll follow forwarding and then just paste in this URL. So if I right click and say copy link address, paste that, boom, and it downloads it. And there you go. Oh. You are always busy. Okay. Okay. But you know what would be better, Shannon? If we used some tea. I love tea. Yeah. In fact. I have some right here. No, Shannon, the tea command. Tea? Ooh, chamomile? No, I don't want that tea. That tea like is no rose good. rose hip and fancy pink stuff. But you really want some skull cap right before bed, I but anyway. <laughs> skull cap, really? <laughs> and yeah. some valerian and some melatonin and yeah. some anyway. Hippies <laughs> notwithstanding, uh, I think tea is a fantastic uh, thing to talk about because it takes direction. It, it actually doo -doo -doo -doo, doesn't really do much all on its own. Okay. But it uses the fun thing of, of redirection of standard output into, so y you know how we like pipe something? Yeah. So if I pipe echo hello world to netcat on virtual hacker port 9999, yeah. what I'm doing is I'm taking the output of that echo command and it's going into the input of the netcat mm -hmm. command. So this allows you to do that, but also at the same time, it's kind of like a, like a thing in the, 
You know, with the trains, there's a T in the track. <laughs> yeah, OK. And the, so I the train it. goes both ways, though. And part of it goes to Netcat as oh. standard input. And then the other part goes into a file. Cool. Okay. So that's really useful if we want to see, mm. for instance, on our regular terminal, you know, which is by default showing us the standard output of all of our commands, yep. and in addition, go into a file. So for instance, we could do this. I could fortune cow say and then pipe that to T. And I'm going to specify mm, where to save it. I'm going to put in TMP slash cow, because why not? And like we talked about uh, two weeks ago, amp amp is very similar to doing semicolon, which is how you string multiple commands together. Yeah. What this is saying is, all right, on the same line, I'm going to give you another command, but don't run it until this one uh, finishes. So once this command finishes running and is successful, then it's going to run the next thing uh, that I tell it, which okay. is going to be to cat slash tmp slash cow. Cats. <sighs> what, what's up with like Linux commands being named? Anyway. Wine. Cats, T, <laughs> net cats. Cows. Let us know in the comments your favorite. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to cat that file though, which is just going to, dis which if I did this just on its own would display it on the screen. But the standard output of that, I'm going to pipe now to netcat virtualhacker.net on port 9999. Okay. So now, I get to see it, which is a, a classic is something that everyone wants to have read, but nobody wants to read. Oh, Thank that's you, so true. Thank you, Mark Twain. <laughs> uh, yes. But I also get the URL in addition to that, which okay. is pretty cool. That's, that's, that could be so handy. I think it is. <laughs> I think it is a fantastic use of the T command. I think it's a good example of kind of, you know, building on what we learn and taking okay. it all together. And um, so now, you know, to make this even better, because that's the beauty of Linux, is we're always going to make it even better. Of course. Right? Is uh, uh, we're actually going to, you know, instead of wasting time typing in netcat to virtualhacker.net all of those times, we're going to add an alias, which I do believe I love you aliases. I thought you were going to tell me that you love the show Alias from the 1990s, oh, which I was also alias. pretty good, too. That was a great show. Um, you've done this on Hack Tip, but let me show you a quick and easy way to add an alias to your bash, bash RC file. Okay. Uh, and actually, I've already added this one, um, so I'll just do it again and hope that doesn't break anything. So if I echo, I'm going to put this, I'm going to echo Alias. And in this case, I'm going to say, well, you know what? I'm going to say TN, because I've already done TB equals and then the command. So this is going to be what it's going to you know, reduce this down to. So whenever I type TN, it's actually going to write T slash temp slash cow, amp amp, cat slash temp slash cow, pipe to netcat at virtualhacker.net port 9999. OK. Um, and then end that single quote. And what will happen is I can then Actually, end the double quotes, then end the single quote, then, redire then redirect that with two wakas. By the way, make sure you use two wakas. The point of that is if you only use one waka, it's going to overwrite the file and replace it with this line. If you oh. use two waka, it's going to add it to the end of the file, which is what we want to do in this case, because okay. your .bash RC file Depends. is basically your configuration file for, um, for bash. And we're going to write that to tilde slash dot bash RC. Okay. So now, all I have to do is do a source tilde slash dot bash rc, which will reload our bash rc. I can actually see if I do a tail, not fail if I do a tail. <laughs> fail is probably a command. Is fail a command? No, oh. fail is not a command. Damn. So tail tack two uh, tilde slash dot bash rc. You can see these were the last two. So I've already ah, used TB cool. and TN to do the same thing. So what this means now is that uh, if I, for instance, do uh, whatever I whatever I pipe to TB is going to get replaced with that. So if I do like ls tac la uh, slash, and then now pipe that to TB, it's not only going to show me my directory listing of my um, home folder of, of my root. That's cool. Uh, it's going to say use netcat, which is really weird because this totally worked before. And TN? Yes, there we ah, go. Ah, there it is. And now I get that. Ha ha! Awesome. That's and now really I can neat. share that URL. You know, I'll be honest though, I, I'm picking up what you're putting down over here, but what you're really missing is some legit coy insults yeah. in your terminal. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah seriously. Uh, hit me, what you got? Yeah. 
So if I go into my terminal and type in sudo ls, ask me for my password, I'm going to type it wrong and it doesn't do anything. It just says, sorry, try again. So I'll do it the right way and then I get into my ls. So then I'm going to do sudo vi sudo and I'm going to add a new line here that says defaults insult. Go ahead and save that. Okay, so now I'm going to open up a new terminal and I'll make this a little bit bigger for you. And I'm going to do sudo ls again. I'll type in the wrong password. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold it up to the light. Not a brain in sight. <laughs> <laughs> what? what on earth? <laughs> what? This right, is... I'll type in my password wrong again. Let's see if it does the same thing. I think, er, I think, I think I'll go home. <laughs> All right, let's type it in one more time. <laughs> Your mind just hasn't been the same since the electric shock passed. <laughs> oh, that's, that's my favorite one so far. Oh man, that's terrible. <laughs> this is built there in. Insults. Yeah, it's totally built in. All you have to do is enable it by just going into Visudo and then saving a new line with that defaults insults. Uh, we've used Visudo on the show in the past, but it's only been to add <laughs> users to the sudoers oh, group so, funny. so they can have root too. <laughs> that's weird. I also love how you have to do sudo Visudo because it feels. Yeah. Kind of meta. Of course you have to sudo by sudo. Yeah. <laughs> that is just ridiculous, Shannon. You find the, the best Linux I'm trolling. Tips. I know you're trolling. And, and, you're <laughs> and your terminal ends up braiding you for spelling things wrong. Well, That's mine really already funny. does that anyway. Uh, Aw. <laughs> yeah. You poor thing. We need, what we need is a program that, like, if you, uh, if you type your password into, if you do too many misspellings like your your other tip <laughs> yeah. about the misspelling stuff instead of allowing you to do it just like keep adding a, a score and then when your score gets too high it's like no pseudo for you. Oh. you you've had enough go to bed <laughs> you need to go to sleep now <laughs> yes like our monitor um with that we're going to take a quick break but when we get back silly tips in the terminal so stay tuned when you get that great idea, you're going to need yourself a great domain. And if you're like Shannon and I, you'll love using Domain.com because there's nothing simpler. They have an intuitive domain discovery system and an easy checkout process that'll get your website up and online in no time. And they've been supporting Hack5 for years now, so you can show your support back by using their coupon code just for us. It's HAK5 or Hack5. Drop that in at checkout to save yourself an extra 15% off or shoot them a tweet at Domain.com and say, hey, Thanks for supporting Hack5. When you think domain names, think domain.com. Are you being a net cat? <laughs> See, that's Snurbs right there. Uh, and that's actually the perfect lead in to this next tip, which is going to change your lives. Is it about net cat? No, it actually has nothing to do with Netcat. But if you remember from our previous tip, uh, or actually the last command that I sent over to Virtual Hacker, which was an ls tech la slash, which by the way, all that does is list everything in your root directory. We can make <laughs> it even fancier. What? Check this out. If you, you can pipe anything you want to this, anything at all. Okay. ls tech la slash, which you know just gives me a directory listing. Beautiful. Boring, right? If I do that now and pipe it to lolcat, woohoo! Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> uh huh. That's it's, just like Nancat. It just makes everything better. That's so cool. Yes, but you know what? We can make it even better. How? Check this out. I'm gonna do it again. Ls tac la slash. I'm gonna pipe it to lolcat, but this time I'm gonna give it tac a for animate. Oh Whoa. yeah. Uh -huh. That goes really slow. Yes, it does go. Actually, here, you're right. It does go really <laughs> slow. Let me cancel that and do uh, TAC S100. Ooh. Or TAC S200. Whee. Oh my gosh. Actually, with this, you that can kind of recreate so cool. your, uh, your 8086 days. <laughs> but to make it the most bestest of all, sorry, I hit my mic, is to do bash piped to lolcat, because now. Oh LS, my. oops. Whoa. LS, uh, uh, LS tech L. Ooh. Huh? Huh? Ooh. No matter what I do, it's going to be in lull. That's so Although, cool. I, 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 um, oh, that's weird. Let me think. I think I can break this pretty easily, though. Um, trying to think of a command. 
What about the the, the <laughs> No, of course there wouldn't be. Haha. <laughs> Whoa. There's a manual for man. That was Although really cool. that was that was pretty bad, actually. It breaks a lot of things, but who cares? Because it makes them all pretty. I don't care. It's yes. colorful. Yes. Now that that is it for today. <laughs> I know we're off the rails as always, but hopefully we brought you some new fun Linux tips you didn't know. We will be back here real soon doing a follow-up of these with our uh, you know with our favorite recommendations from you guys after we do epic drone segments. Oh, I'm so excited Which will be so drones. much fun. And then I believe we're also going to get into some speech to text. Uh, so that's some fun stuff coming up in season 20. Yay, all right. I wanted right. to point that out because uh, it's very, it's just good stuff. And you know, who doesn't love a little Linux? Or if, actually, if you guys hate Linux and you're like, dude, get back to Windows, I'll throw up a Windows 98 VM, second edition, of course, all right, and all right. we'll get right into it. <laughs> And of course, just a reminder again, we're going to have M Mubix from Metasploit Minute out here as well as Sebastian and Darren Kitchen, obviously. They'll be hosting Pentest with Hack5. It's March th 11th through the 13th. It's totally story-driven, hands-on training, so you can get with the developers and you can learn how to use all sorts of really cool gadgets. Pentest with HAK5.com for that. Seats are limited. Yes. Uh, we can only fit however many we can actually fit in the warehouse. It's so. a lot of fun, though. It's very story-driven. We have a yes. whole lot of fun with it. I hope there are still seats available by the time this airs so that you can get into it if you want. But you know what? If you can't, that's cool, too, because all of the gear that we provide in Pentest with Hack5, you can grab yourself, Yay! including the Wi-Fi Pineapple Nano and the Tetra and the Land Turtle and the USB Rubber Ducky and all that other good stuff. Someone over on Twitter at, said we should get more t-shirts. Yes, I saw that. And we have other, f I'll, I'll tell you about all the uh, fun apparel that's coming. Coconuts? Uh, not, oh, stop talking about the coconut. Sorry. Um, I like coconuts. You did. I think it's a Delicious. nut, though. Because it's got the word nut in it. I mean, is a coconut a nut? You brought that up last time. Okay. Shh. Anyway, um, <laughs> I probably was told in the feedback, but we haven't released it yet, so we don't even know. <laughs> We're in the future. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but HAKshop.com. There you go. All right. Feedback is feedback at hack5.org. That's where you can send us emails, tell us how much we suck or how much uh, you enjoy the show. And you can also find all of our shows over at HAK5.org. And I believe HAK5.org slash YouTube will take you over to the vlogs, right? Uh, it will take you to our YouTube channel, actually. And if oh, you go cool. to our YouTube channel and you scroll down, you'll see both of our vloggy vlogs, which is lots of fun because hers has rainbows coming out of a unicorn's butt. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, if you're digging this show because of unicorn butt statements, then you should definitely give it a like, a subscribe, a share, and a review on iTunes because it does go a long way and it's what's been helping keep the Hack 5 coming for the last 10 years. The Hack 5. The Hack 5. It's true. It is. The Snurbs knows all about it. Okay. With. No. There's. No. I want to make it do the thing again. Where's the cat? Where's the cat? Can I can I do you one last one last favor? Okay, yeah. Oh, what? Let me try it again. SL. <gasps> yeah. Oh. That's right. You just need to get yourself an SL Tech L. All right. With all of that, <laughs> <laughs> one last one. Just had to make it in because if you That's mistype awesome. LS, you should know about it. I wish that it could go choo choo. The little See, your I never office workers. Things, so I didn't know that. No, because you ins you set the stupid glob <laughs> thing with the spelling. <laughs> Stupid chopter. Anyway. Uh, for case. <laughs> we are totally off the rails now. I'm Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. Trust your techno lust. I'm gonna make the train run into you. <laughs> uh, just do your favorite cat rendition. Just be silly and be a cat. Just be a silly cat. Be a silly cat, <laughs> and then I'll go to wide. Oops. <laughs> I'm breaking Kirby's toys. <laughs> Get that out of my face. Get that out of my face. <laughs>